Hello from Digical Things. This is a genuine Lowland 32 Lite board obtained from the official Wemos store at AliExpress. It's been my go-to board for battery-powered projects like remote data loggers, sensors, etc. It's optimised for low power. Um, you'll note that there's no power LED when it's turned on. In fact, I'll turn it on now and you'll see just a brief flash on the charge LED as the circuit stabilises. But normally with power on there is no LEDs. Um, the LDO regulator is an ME6211 which features uh, 60 microamp power consumption. Um, the battery charger, lithium ion battery charger, is a TP4054 with a set charge current of 500 milliamps for a 2K resistor. And as you can see, it's also breadboard friendly. Unfortunately, these boards were out of stock for a couple of months, so when I needed some more, I had to find an alternate supplier. I searched AliExpress for the same board with all the genuine markings and advertised as a genuine board um, and bought a couple. Unfortunately, I was scammed. As at May 2018, these boards are back in stock in the Wemos official store. However, the Wemos website shows that the range of Lowland 32 boards have all been retired, replaced with their new Lowland D32 board as their single ESP32 offering. Okay, this is the Lowland 32 Lite clone board that I got off eBay. It was advertised as an original with all the markings on the board, but as you can see, the one I received, um, actually I ordered a couple of them, they don't have any markings on the board, and when I powered them up, I discovered there was a problem with the uh, LiPo charger circuit. So normally, with the original board, I plug in the USB power with the outer battery connected, um, there should be no LEDs shining at all. Um, the charge LED, of course, should not be on because the lithium ion charger IC should detect that there's no battery connected and terminate charging. Now, I'll just turn the light away so you can actually see what's happening. You can see the red charge LED is flashing which suggests to me that the charging circuit is cycling through a charge state and a non-charge state. So it's not correctly detecting that there's no battery present. Now, if I attach a battery, I'll just turn this off, plug in a LiPo battery, I apply power again, you'll see that uh, it's now in the charge state, so it is charging the battery. However, what I've discovered is that when the battery reaches a fully charged state, 4.2 volts, um, the current down to less than 10% or less than 50 milliamps, the charging circuit should terminate um, and the charge light should go out. Now that's not happening on this board, um, it just continues to to charge. The charge circuit does not terminate, so as long as you have a battery plugged in, uh, the charger is charging. It appears that both boards I received have faulty 4054 charger ICs, but first I thought I'd rule out the 10 microfarad output capacitor. The purpose of this capacitor is to provide stability when no battery is present. So then I headed over to ALI Express, where I found I could get five TP4054s for around a dollar, so that was a worthwhile gamble. They arrived and turned out to be the same LTH7 linear technology devices. So this is my second board, um, and I'm going to remove the faulty LTH7. Probably should have used a smaller nozzle. Oh, 
probably see the solder melting on the uh, capacitors next to the IC, but that's okay. So that's the faulty device removed. Now to get the new device out, this is the second one because I already did my first board. The solder looked okay, so I just decided to use some flux um, and I'll reflow the existing solder. Okay, let's get the new chip in place. and reflow it. I really should have used a smaller nozzle. Okay, time to test. If all was working, when we apply power we should just see a brief flash on the LED. Uh, like the original board. Okay, look good. Just a brief flash. Grab our battery. Of course, the battery is fully charged, so. Pull it out, I'm running on battery. So by using a fully charged battery I can just let it uh, drain a little um, and then I can test that the charger will switch off correctly once fully charged. So I came back a short while later just to make sure the battery voltage had dropped enough for the charging circuit to correctly activate. 4.13 volts, that'll do. Let's power it back up, see if we have a charge light. Okay, so we're now charging our battery. I'll probably need to leave this a little while um, to top it up to full. Okay, it's a little while later now. Still charging. And there we go. Looks like we've got a uh, rejuvenated Lowland 32 light board that I can put back into production. Excellent. That's it. Thanks for watching.